A Tainan theater that hosts transgender cabaret performers from Thailand has reopened after a dry spell. The seven performers usually rely on tour groups to fund their theater, but with the coronavirus hitting tourism, things looked grim for business. The theater's owners even opened a grocery stall to ease their losses over the tough period. Now, although profits are still low, they've decided that the show must go on. Exciting music, fabulous costumes and sexy moves. The former theater dancers from Thailand love the limelight. The theater is in the old Wushulin Sugar Factory in Tainan's Hobi Township. Shows have been run by theater owner Jan Rei Xing for almost 10 years, and business relies on vacation tour groups. But due to the coronavirus, visitor numbers fell and the business was in peril. With no shows on the schedule, the performers seemed to have no choice but to return to Thailand. But they begged Jan to find a way to let the show go on. So he and his wife opened a grocery stall. We just got on with it and kept putting one foot in front of the other. When the performances stopped, the two of us decided to sell vegetables if we could and managed to cover our losses a bit so they could have a stage and a little income. The couple runs the veg stall for 10 hours a day, all while continuing the hostel business and paying for guests' meals. Tourism has recently started to pick up again and they decided the theatre could reopen for the Seven Fairies' shows. <laughs> He works so hard, he has to sell produce and find audiences to come to our performances. Thanks, boss. I'm so happy. When the audience claps and encourages us, we feel so happy. On average, it costs an extra 10,000 NT for one person for one month. There's also their meals to pay for. The theater is running at a loss right now, with profits just 10% of the normal range. The vegetable store will stay open, but at least the performers can once more enjoy their time on stage. <laughs>